Okay guys, I want to show you my final income statement and explain to you how I did the last part. Uh, I obviously just totaled everything and was chilling with my calculator, so I didn't want to video that, would be quite boring. But basically what I did since the last video is calculate, so we had gross income right here and we had operating profit and i went ahead to say gross income minus the operating profit has to give us our operating expense i used this amount and everything else to get the sundry expenses the sundry expenses was a balancing figure remember they did not give it to us after that it was pretty easy uh the last bit of information says Income tax was 32% of the net profit, which was 396800 and that was right there. So unknown was 68. We knew 32% was the net profit uh, before the, the income tax, sorry. <laughs> so we knew that 32 consisted of the income tax. We didn't know what the net profit of the tax was and that had to be 68. 100 minus 32 was 68, right? And if I did this, I got the final net profit of the tax. And then I just worked backwards to get the amounts we didn't have. So this plus this has to give us this and then I use this amount and the interest expense which we had calculated earlier to get the net profit before interest expense and then last I calculated the interest income. So that's it guys that's a wrap for the income statement and we're now going to move on to our ordinary share capital note and I guess we could do it in this video too. So basically, uh, we know, that I say basically a lot, <laughs> I just noticed. Anyway, so we have an authorized share capital of 1,200,000 shares. Let's read our information. So, okay, we just read that and it says, okay, 85% of the authorized shares, how many were authorized? 1,200,000 were in issue on the 1st of March 2016. This is the beginning of the year and 85% were in issue. So we know that, okay, uh, cool, the amount in issue right here has to be 85%. This is obviously in rands. This is not the number of shares. This is the value of shares. On the left hand side is where we're going to write the number of shares. Okay. So, okay. And so 85% were in issue. You know, straight away we can actually go over here and calculate the, this number of shares. And I think I'm going to write it for you. This is the number of shares and on the right hand side we have rands okay we have this is the money value of our shares and many of my students get confused with this I, I don't know why it's very important to just remember and uh, you'll be okay right so we know that 85 percent is an issue this is the rand value of that 85 percent and we want to say, okay, how many shares was this actually? And the actual number of shares was that. And all I did to get this amount was say 85% times 1,200,000. Because, I mean, they tell us that was an issue at the beginning. Okay, then it says on the 31st of March, 2016, the directors issued all the unissued shares. They give us how much we received. They tell us, okay, so you received 7,756,000. ,000. And the details you write here are shares issued, okay? Shares issued during the, yeah. 
And how many shares were issued? There are many different ways to calculate this. Um, you can say the total number of authorized shares minus this has to give us the remaining shares because it says all the unissued shares. So that means all the remaining shares. So you could say 1,200,000 minus this, or you can say 15% times this, and you should always get 180,000. Okay, now for the interesting bit. We repurchased 250,000 shares. And oh, this is, this is so important. So let's do the easy bit. We have shares repurchased and uh, we know that that was 250,000 and we always subtract that amount. Okay, we subtract that amount in the note and they give us an amount of 4 Rand 15 per share. Now, to calculate the value, many, many students take 4 Rand 15 and then they multiply it by, you know, they multiply it by 250,000 to get the value and this is wrong. We cannot do that, okay? That's not what we do. What we have to do is calculate the average share price. And so, we're going to say the average share price times 250,000 will give us this value. How do we calculate the average share price? So the average share price, you know, whenever we have an average, it means amounts are added together. Okay. So the average share price is this amount plus this amount. Okay. And if you add those two together, then you divide that by the authorized share capital. Are you following? Are you okay? Okay. So average share price. I just, I don't know how to write this for you. Let me write it the long way. Ah, oh, no. Okay, so I said we're adding the both. Is that right? Yeah. Seven, five, six thousand. And then, okay, and then you divide all of that by 1,200,000. And that should give you your average share price of 3.2. So this actually is 3 round 20 times 250,000. And that's how we calculate our shares repurchased. You should get an amount of 800,000. And that's, that's it. That's your ordinary share note. You can add those both, add those and subtract that add those and subtract that and your total number of shares here should be 950,000 and this is important because we use this amount right here later on and uh, this amount should be 3 million body thousand okay there we go and that's it i guess um this is uh, shares on the 28th of February so at your end you can also write shares at the end of the year and that's 10 marks.